Hey everybody, how is your day? How is your day going? I hope you're good. So in this video, what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about leverage. Leverage, what is leverage? How can you use leverage to your favor? And how leverage can be um, of a negative impact in your trading, right? So if that sounds interesting to you, stick with us until the end so that you can actually take advantage of it. So first things first, what's leverage? Okay, so we're going to jump, dive right into it. So um, you're going to be excusing me. I'll be typing it out right here on our trading view chat. Um, in front of you is a card JPY trade that we took with the community, with the Discord community. If you're not in it, it should be the first link in the description. So be sure to join so that you won't miss out on the content that we're providing, including free signals, free trading materials such as books, free live webinars on a daily basis. You don't want to miss out. It should be the first link in the description. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, be sure to do so as you are not as you don't want to miss out in the future content that will be produced. Cool. So what's leverage, right? So leverage is just the buying power that the broker gives you, right? Just simple, short and simple, right? It's the buying power. Ah, excuse me. That a broker gives you. right so that's leverage that's it's nothing more nothing less it's just the buying part that the broker gives you. now each broker gives out um different leverages according to the account type that you, you give while opening the account to them now brokers give a range of the leverage anywhere from one ratio three to about one ratio two thousand i think that's the maximum i've seen two thousand so leverage is always measured in ratios right because leverage is or comes in equivalence to how much you're putting in so that means let's say you're putting in uh, 10 us dollars it's going to be multiplied by the leverage so for instance if you open an account with the broker and you deposit 10 us dollars um 10 us dollars in an account that has a one ratio three leverage your buying power will be multiplied three times okay if you deposit the same amount in an account with the leverage that has one ratio two thousand your buying power is going to be multiplied two thousand times right now when i'm saying buying power i literally mean buying power because look a lot of people don't notice this but money is sold in lots right so let me make this clear um money is sold in lots right so once you hear the name or the word lot once you hear this word right here it, it's lots lots i think it's lots for plural but lots or you'll see like a person taking a trade with the one lot that's the amount of money he's buying with right and that being said um so one lot one lot is sold for an equivalent of about one hundred thousand right now figuring this out like not a lot of people have one hundred thousands in their one hundred thousand dollars that they can just put in their trading accounts to start trading right it's very few people that have this amount of liquidity um even if you put it down all the way to the let's say um 0 0.1 lot which it will be which it will be about um 10 grand right uh 
and the minimum load size that we all use, which is 0 0.0, 0 0.01, 0 0.01 loads, which equals to an equivalent of about $1,000. So even with the minimum load size of 0 0.01, that goes for $1,000. Not everybody has $1,000 in their bank accounts to be trading with it, right? So that's where the broker steps up and he gives you leverage, meaning he gives you that buying power that you can have to access these types of loads, right? So you can notice that some brokers, each broker have, has different leverages that they offer to their clients right so the bigger the leverage the bigger the buying power okay so for instance as we are talking if you deposit okay so let's take another example here ten dollars is maybe too small <laughs> i mean ten dollars you'll be gambling that's not trading so let's make it at, at least even 100 which is still you know okay for day trading small for swing trading but let's assume we are all day traders right so let's assume you deposit one hundred dollars. Um, let's say it's two people that deposit this one hundred dollars, and everybody has a different broker. So the first person deposits on a broker that has a one ratio, one hundred. leverage and the other one has a one ratio i don't know um 500 let's put it there one ratio 500 leverage right two different people same amount but with different leverage with the brokers right now this person that deposited with the broker with one ratio 100 that means his buying power will be 100 times 100 which it will be 1000 10000 right it will be an equivalent of $10000 now with $10000 how many lots can you buy with $10000 you can buy at least until here a mini lot that's 0 0.1 that means this person that deposited with this broker can buy until the lot size of 0 0.1 he can trade until 0 0.1 whereas the other person that deposited with one ratio 500 this person can be able to trade until 0 0.5 i think because it will be 500 times 100 it will be 50,000, so it will be five times this so it's 0 0.5 right so you can see it's the same amount that has been deposited with this with the brokers but the only difference is the leverage that the brokers provide that makes this difference so this person if he tries to place an order with 0 0.2 the message will pop up saying that there isn't enough like there's insufficient balance right whereas if this person places it the order will go through the only difference being the leverage so now you've understood what the buying power of the leverage gives you as a trader yeah. now a lot of people always ask me like okay how does leverage you know impact my trading or which leverage should i pick what this and that you know um the answer is very clear and it's very simple guys just pick a leverage that won't hurt you right um a leverage that doesn't give you too much room for you to compromise yourself if i may you know like for instance, taking a broker that gives you a leverage of one ratio 2000, I feel like that's too much, unless you're a fundamental trader. Then for fundamental traders, I can understand because honestly, fundamental traders, most of the times they just enter with very big loss because the move is just about a couple of seconds and then you're out. But if you're a technical trader, then I think one ratio 200 is more than enough, more than fair actually. So for those that are always in question of what leverage to be using, um, one ratio 200, that's the thing. That's the one to take because it doesn't let you like take a big position that you'll be stopped out within seconds. Um, so for instance, assume um, 
you get a $100 account and you deposit on a broker that gives you 200 leverage. The maximum amount or note size that you're going to be able to use on this account will be about 0.1, 0.2, excuse me. It will be about 0.2, right? Now with 0.2, for you to blow this account, a position has to go against you 50 pips. So that's more than enough time for you if you've placed it as a mistake to close out and you know move out right otherwise you are just gambling right but for instance assume if you place it on a one ratio two thousand dollar account on a two thousand one ratio two thousand leveraged account that means you'll be able to place an order of until two lots that means the order can just go five pips against you and you're out and it's not even five pips because if you open the order it's going to open with the spread so that means it will be just like four pips and you're out four pips you're out and four pips in a volatile market like man that's crazy gold gu pound pairs gbp jpy like that's just a second it's a blink of an eye your account is turned into ashes so um the bigger the leverage you need to understand like leverage is a double-edged knife so the bigger the leverage the bigger the amount of money you can make but also the same amount of risk you're placing on yourself because if it goes against you it's going to hurt you really bad but if it goes with you then you're going to make a lot of money right so it's a double-edged knife that you really need to be careful with and um so while choosing the leverage again i'd advise you to go with about 100 or 200 because that's the safest bet um, and as technical traders, managing risk management is the most important thing in your trading. So you should most definitely um, be focusing on a risk or on a leverage that's, that will work in the long term, which will be about 200 or 200. So um, that's all I've prepared for today, guys. If you found this video to be of help, smash that like button, share with a few friends that you believe will be of help to them. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification button so that you'll be notified whenever we release future content in the future. Um, so till next time, guys, I appreciate you all. Take it easy out there.